Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I guess I'm going to entitle this. It's a pretty long title. Putting your own blast. Reading between the lines. Adding you to the wall of shame. And the reason why I do these videos is to help educate young folks. To give you the upfront knowledge. You know, so you know and you know, at some point in time, you say, okay, I know how to behave in this particular situation because, you know, I watched a, a Morris Man video years ago and, uh, you know, now I'm going to address this in the way that I should. I only deal with people when it comes to music serious. You know, if you're not serious, go somewhere else, you know. How you conduct business is a reflection on you and you might not be aware how, of how people are watching you when you are doing what you're supposed to do or not doing what you're supposed to do. You know, nobody wants to be bothered with people that are dragging feet. You got to go look for them. They late all the time. I guess I'm fortunate that I don't have to deal with shit like that. You know, I can't think of the last time that I had to deal with that, but I was very young. And as you get older, you just don't have tolerance for that. It's like, I ain't got time for that. You know, done that, been there, done that, done that 20 years ago. And, from time to time, I get this, you know, people that are, uh, you can read between the lines and you know where this is going. Because I do understand you don't know what you don't know, but I got over 40,000 subscribers and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And there's some people that just think that the world is going to cater to them and them only. Because it's like, think about this. You're not the only one that had the brilliant idea to ask for something for free. Because, again, my father had a saying, being a grown-ass man, never asked another grown-ass man for something you're not willing to pay for. So, uh, sometimes people don't realize that I have a tavern service, and it would be unfair for the people that utilize the tavern service that I do this for you for free. Set two hours aside just for you because you special, and everybody else has to pay and I'm talking grown ass men. I'm not talking teenagers or, or kids. I'm talking grown ass men, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old. You know, I had one guy that was older than me. And it's like, come on, man. You know, you're supposed to be teaching me stuff. You know, so uh, I get this. And I'm going to read this. Do you have a video of you doing the course for the Funkadelic Loose Booty? Now, my response was never heard of it. So that's the answer to that question. Obvious. No, that should have been the end of it. You know, uh, then he goes to proceed to tell me what album that it was on. And I said, well, I was more or less a parliament guy. You know, I wasn't a big fan of Funkadelics except for One Nation Under Groove. That was it. All of them other songs were weird to me. It's like, what is this? What the fuck is this? It wasn't bad, but it's like, I can't. First of all, I can't dance to it. I can't dance to the up-tempo stuff, and, and there's no ballad. So I'm like, you know, well, I ain't going to get into that. But so he proceeds to tell me what album it was on. So at this point, I'm like, and I said, yeah, I was more into Parliament, you know. So at that point, I'm like, okay, let me send him to the link because we're not going to keep going back and forth on this because I've already answered the question. I've never done it, never heard it, you know. And I not to... Uh, eager to go listen to it because I'm like I'm, I'm not a big Funkadelic fan except for that one song so uh, I sent them to the link you know politely saying well if you want this done man because you still kind of on this with these comments I'll do it but you got to pay for the service you know so I sent them the link then he said I would like to have three songs tab I can't find the link which I don't understand what that was because you seen the video and that was the link sent you to that video. So I said, okay, which songs would you like? So he gave me the three songs and out of the three, two was doable. Actually the third one was, but I couldn't put the tabulation across the screen as far as what the guitar player was doing. So I said, yeah, I can do uh, the Funk Godelix one and then the Eric Bonet one. Uh, the other one, you know, let me give another listen to it, but uh, wouldn't be able to do it. So I said, okay, submit. And this was three days ago. Submit your twenty dollars for the Eric Bonet song because we're gonna tackle that one first, and then when I uh, finished and send it off to you, then we can tackle the Funkadelic song. Now that was three days ago, so yesterday I sent him a reminder, which I shouldn't have to do because in business you don't go looking for people. You're just like, okay, if they don't show up, fuck them. <laughs> Next, so uh, and let me just inter inter interject this. I had another guy. Inquired about something. I'm like, okay, we can do it. 
uh, it's 20 bucks. So I'm like, okay, I'm expecting the $20 sometime today so I can get started on this and then send it to you. Two days went past. I'm like, see, I ain't got time for this. So then he finally, oh, I forget. That's, that's one word I don't want to hear. Oh, I forgot to send it to you. And I, he sent me the money. I sent it right back to him because I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. You lost your slot. You know, I don't, I don't. It's like people think I just sit around all day waiting for $20. I'm like, I'm a busy dude. I get four hours of sleep a day because I got so much shit to do, you know? So I'm like, uh, be lucky that I'm doing this for you because, uh, again, I'm a professional musician. The $20 is just a gift. This is just a gift for you because, I, like I told you, I make a nice amount of money per hour playing my guitar in the studio. So why would I put that to the side? which I make anywhere from $100 to $200 an hour to do this for you, and it takes me three hours to do this for you for $20. Okay? Do the math. I'm I'm doing this for you. And there's some people that get it. Thanks, Morris, man, because ain't nobody else your caliber of player that's going to do this for me for $20 because they ain't got time. Exactly. And there's some people that don't get that. It's like, dude, this is for you. This ain't for me. $20 don't do shit for Morris, man. Maybe back in 1974 when he was in, you know, a kid, but now – this is a gift for you, you know, and some people don't get it, you know. So yesterday I said, uh, cause three days went past when I gave him that information. Uh, yesterday I said, I'm getting ready to start on your project for my friends. I'm ready to get started on your project to tackle it. So please submit $20 for the egg tone so I can get, get this going for you. That was yesterday. I ain't heard from him. You know, I'm like, uh, I don't have time to be chasing people. I call this the ghetto deal when people are dragging their feet. You got to go look for them. You got to remind them. You grown ass man. This is business. Handle the business. And again, it it shows the kind of person you are when you dragging feet or you don't follow through. Because there's some people like myself. And shout out to Tony Holman. When Tony tell me he gonna do something, he do it. You know. And then he give me email the day before. Let me know he gonna do it on that next day. He's 100% on time, you know, and, and that's how ev everybody should be, or at least try to. Now, I know some things don't work out the way you want them to do, be, but it says a lot about you when you day late, can't find you, don't know what happened to you. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. I mean, really, nobody got time for that. You, They pass you by. You know, it's like, I ain't got time for this. Where you, know, where you at, you know? Because, again, as you get old, your, your tolerance level just shrinks. You know, when I was a kid, I'd wait forever. Now I'm like, fuck this. I'm out of here. You know, I ain't got time for this. You know, so uh, like I said, day yesterday, I'm like, let me, let's get going, man, because I got other stuff to do. So let me get you out the way because I don't believe in letting stuff stockpile and pile up behind me and I ain't got done to them. Like, let's move on. Let's t tackle this and move on. You know, so uh, again, I stress this. The reason why I do these kind of videos for young guys Stay on your business. When you tell people you're going to do it, do it. Don't disappear for days at a time when it's supposed to have been executed already and nobody knows where you at. It shows that you're not serious. It shows that you're not focused. It shows that you're not consistent. I don't deal with people that aren't, you know. I'm at a stage in my life I don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, have a good day. Because like I said, the other guy, I forgot and sent that money. I'm like, sent it right back. I'm like, dude, you lost your slot. I'm like, I. I I guess you think I'm just sitting around waiting for you. Ain't nobody waiting for you. You know, either you get on the bus or you get left behind. You know, again, I stress this. The purpose of this type of video is to keep young people informed about how do you handle business. It says a lot about you when you're sloppy and you don't follow through. Nobody wants to deal with you. And when they don't have to deal with you, they don't deal with you. You know, just that simple. When I tell you guys I'm going to do something, I do it, you know. You know, right out, straight out the hospital, uh, somebody asked me to do, well, actually, I told somebody I was going to do something for them. Straight out the hospital, was in bed that whole entire day, get up, feeling like crap, did the video, and went right back to bed. You know, I'm like, even when I don't feel well, I try to follow through. Because that's the kind of person that my mother and my father raised. A right? very consistent person, you know. None of, none of that ghetto nonsense. Oh, oh, oh okay, I forget. Or oh, 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 we do it in three days. No, we won't. <clears throat> I mean, if we ain't going to get this done now, what was the purpose of you contacting me if we're not going to follow through in a timely manner? You know, but um, this here.
gave him time and ain't heard from him. So that lets me know that these people are not serious. And I stress, I do not deal with people that are not serious about handling the business. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching. And of course, I'm going to remove and block this guy so there'll be no more uh, co uh, communication because I'm done with you. You know, I'm done. You know, you know, you missed the boat, dude. Next time.